let's see how we can install pip for python 3.1.3.5 but this also applies to any python version greater than 2.7 so let's get started first go to this url and scroll down and click on any os that you are running on since i'm on windows i'll just click on windows and here right click on this where it says download the script and click on save link as and you'll get an option to save this file now remember where you have downloaded this because we will go to access this file later on so i'll just download this in the downloads folder and click on save once this is done just click on this folder to go to the downloaded folder or browse to any other directory that you have saved this file in and open terminal or command prompt and come inside this directory a shortcut in windows is to just click here and type cmd and hit enter and you will open command prompt inside this directory where you have downloaded your getpip.py file now a precondition or a prerequisite to install pip is you already need to have python installed so let's check if you have python installed as you can see i am on python 3.1.3.5 you can check your version by typing this command if you don't see any python version here or see an error that says command not found check the link in the description it will show you how you can set up python once your python version is printed you can just type python and then get pip.py hit enter okay i accidentally added the slash don't add that hit enter again and now your pip installation will start you need to make sure that you are inside the directory wherever you have downloaded this get pip.py file now let's wait till this installation is complete once the installation is complete you will see this message that says successfully install pip now you can use pip to install python packages the command to do that is pip install and then your package name for example if you want to install numpy just type numpy and hit enter and numpy will be installed a standard practice however is to create a virtual environment and install project specific dependencies in that virtual environment if you want to see how to do that again check the link in the description below it will show you how you can create virtual environments and how you can use virtual environments in your project if you have any questions let me know in the comments below